plaintiff, Kenya Robinson, has known the defendant since she was 12 years old, and they used to run the streets together. And Kenya was even in a gang. Kenya is suing her former friend today for two loans and emotional distress. Defendant Brianna Forte says she and Kenya have always been close friends, despite the fact that Kenya's a dramatic diva. Brianna admits that she got money from Kenya, but insists she never agreed to repay her. Start with you. Well, I've been knowing Brianna for a long time. Since I was 12 years old, we grew up in Riverdale. I was in a gang and it was, Riverdale was split up into two sides. So we were never supposed to be friends in the first place. And, you know, we became friends through the neighborhood, through high school and grammar school, you know. We liked to run the streets together, you know. We was, we was young and we was having fun, you know, and that was my girl. It, I, I never had any issues with Brianna until this. Now, issue. you all went to high school, you say? Where? Junior high and high school. We went to Washington Junior High in Riverdale mm -hmm. and we went to Thornton Township and Harvey. Okay. Um, not technically. But at a certain What's time... So not technically. I only went there for half a year. They kicked you out? No, I didn't. I moved, I moved away. Uh -huh. I moved away. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Well, they did kick me out because when I got to my junior year, when I got to my junior year, I'm not proud of it, but when I got to my junior year, I was pulled into the office and they said, well, Miss Robinson, we're in the middle of the second semester and you've only been here 33% of the time. So being that I was, I'm, my birthday is late in the year and I was a year, I was technically a year behind, I was 18 in my junior year. So they said, well, you grown now, you gotta get up out of high school. You know, they, they kicked me out, you know, so. What'd you do about high school? I, and when I got, I ended up getting expelled and my cousin called me and she said, well, hey, it's a job court right up the street in Atlanta, right up the street from my house. I was in Chicago at the, well, Riverdale mm -hmm. at the time. So, you know, I said to myself, well, I need to do something. So I went to a, a, the Atlanta Job Corps Center. I got my CNA, I got my GD, I got my driver's license from them. I got a five-year culinary certificate and I did, I did so all within five months. In five months. And See how I, smart you are? Thank you. Two of those are careers for sure, CNA and the um, culinary. Yes, sir. So you got and careers, not just jobs. Day. Good. Before we get to the details of the loans, let me allow you to give some background. Okay, she pretty much, you know, hit all the nails, but she forgot to leave out. She is so dramatic. Kenya is the biggest diva. She one of my biggest diva friends that I got. She is dramatic, a drama queen, dramatic to the T. I cannot take it, but. She right though, we always, we never had no type of falling out. This is our first ever encounter, it's so crazy, like. And here you gonna cross over these lawns. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, what are you doing with yourself? I went to Job Corps, but I went to Paul Simon on 35th. You finished? Yeah, I got my training in material handling and I got my GED. Mm-hmm. And I don't do, I don't. What career? Material handling. Okay. All right, how does she owe you for the loans? In late February of 2018, I had a friend give me some money. I and know, you're so nice and <laughs> such a cute young lady, rosy wow. cheeks. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. I said, she got a boyfriend and giving her some money. <laughs> here, baby. Yeah, here, baby, take this money. He, I, he, he sweet of a person thing. as you yeah. are. Go ahead, He what? called a thing, he a thing. He's just somebody who I just get money from, like, he might, he might see his thing, you know, and... He a what? He a, a stain. stain. You know, like a permanent stain on your shirt? Stain, stain. okay. <laughs> that ain't nice. I mean... See, I'm complimenting you. I'm stained. talking about how sweet of a young lady you are. Yeah. I'm proud of you. You got such a nice smile and rosy <laughs> cheeks, and now you're going to just mess all that's, that that's, up. That's, that's not a bad He's a word. stain on me, no, but I can take his money because he's a chump. <laughs> Judge, that's why I take his money. He's a sucker. Mm -hmm. And you know I'm from the street, so if they giving it up, I'm I'll gonna take it. it. <laughs> we ain't doing nothing. That's all I'm doing. I might rub his feet a little bit. But other than that, all I'm doing is going in there for my check. <laughs> that's well, like you talk, isn't it? Are you hit it on the neck? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was over $1,000 this time. What happened? Tell me how the loans occurred. When was she to repay? And what um, did Jan um, Not January, late February 2018, um, when I did receive the money, I went and I seen Brianna. Now, me and Brianna, 
We smoke a lot of weed together. That's what we do together. We we smoke. We most of our days. Not driving and smoking, are you? No, 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 no. We we sit down and, and it doesn't inhibit relax. you from going. <laughs> no. No, I'm saying get in the car after you've smoked weed and drive. Not after before. We, All right, we treat weed just day. like alcohol. Same way. Don't drink and drive. Don't smoke and drive. Yes, sir. Don't smoke too much. Don't drink too much. Same way. She <laughs> called me. I mean, I called her and I said, "Well, I'm finna come fire you up. I'm finna come over there, you know, so we can chill." Fire, fire you. <laughs> You up. <laughs> Holy boy. So I get over there, you know, and we having fun. We got, I got, she like, where you get the money from? I'm like, girl, my stain got me good. <laughs> my stain got me good. <laughs> got me good. <laughs> so. Why are you calling my stain again? <laughs> That's something you don't want. You don't want there. a stain. You don't want it, but it's gonna forever be there. Exactly. You don't want like it, but. Like a and stain. Go ahead. He's okay with me calling him. He stayed in my phone as my stain with the money bag. Oh. <laughs> she didn't <ain't> help. <laughs> he know he a stain. He don't even want to be tricked. He know, Mr. Mathis. He know. I wouldn't even lie to you. He know. Poor he know. stain. <laughs> <laughs> Poor stain. All right. All right. So you loaned her how much in the I February? Gave, I gave her 200 Of your stain money. Yes. And, and the women. <laughs> When was she to repay? She was supposed to pay me back in March when she received her taxes. Oh, Lord, when she received her taxes. Yeah. <laughs> now, you say you've been, you from, you from the game, and you're here going with the tax this payment. This is my best friend, though. This is my best money. friend, though. This is my best friend, though. So whether she says taxes or she going to get it for one of her stains, I'm going to trust that. I'm going to trust her word. Straight you got, like that. You got, stain, you got stains? No, that was just me saying. You oh. know, no matter what she say she going to get it from, I'm going to trust her word because... Now, when is the next loan? That's 200 This was... The, the next loan is actually 267 in total. It's $89 times three for the three different nights of the hotel stay. I didn't ask you what the reason was. You know, we both were, like I said, both of our living situations was rocking oh here, so we both was staying in and out of hotels. Got it. It was three nights, and then, you know, I paid for it, and after that, I'm like, well, I can't pay for it no more. And that's that's how we get to the, the 267 in the hotel fees. Okay. All right, and what is the emotional distress for? Because she tell she's telling everybody that I've been harassing her about the money, about this money. I've been harassing her because I be hitting her up and I be I sent her a lot she didn't of only hit me up. She didn't only hit me up. She didn't only hit me. I up. did. I, I called her and I called her child's father. I did. Who, who else you call? Who else did I call? I call my best friend. Because I couldn't get in touch with her, but I, <laughs> I can get in touch with her any other time. That is she harassment. Pay me back, and I have, I have, you know. Ma'am, you harassed her. her. I didn't harass her. You did. You calling all type of folks that don't have anything to do with the loan? You can't do that. I called That's her between the two father. of you. But her child's father will call my phone when he looking for her, <laughs> and her best friend will call my phone when they looking for her. We are, we're but everybody all... harassing everybody, so nobody's getting <laughs> the harassment money. All right. What do you say to the four sixty seven for the two loans? First of all, Joe, she didn't loan me anything. Me and Kenya, like she said, we party a lot together. We do a lot of stuff together. She always splurging her money. She feel like she big shot, like she got it. You don't ask, she just do it. Okay, so we we stayed in the hotel one night. This is about the hotel situation. We stayed in the hotel together for one night, which was like 60 something dollars. I don't even know. She talking about three nights. Three nights never happened. We stayed together one night. The other nights we slept in her car together. We didn't stay in the hotel for three nights. And then she's not emotional. She's just dramatic. She's Did not she even... loan or give you any money? She gave me some money. Did it add up to four sixty-seven? No. How much did it come to? <laughs> the, it wasn't a loan. The money she I didn't had say given loan. me. I said give. The money she had given me had came out to about maybe like two hundred and twenty dollars, but it didn't. It was, we never said it was a loan. Okay, I heard you the first time. When you okay. keep saying it over and over, that makes me suspect that you're not being honest. When she talked about income tax time, you made an inference that you did tell her that, that you give her money when her, your income tax comes. <laughs> because, look, this, okay, we was both going through some things. I never asked her for a loan, I but... I understand that. But, okay, Why did you time, tell her you'd give her some money off your income because tax? Because... Game is because over. Because she was spending hers well, Your game time. is weak, by she the way. She was spending hers. She was spending That's all why you can't money. get no stain. Because you don't have the game. <laughs> you don't have any... 
this week game. You've already told me. You've already told me that you have implied that you've admitted to owing, uh, and that's why you told her the income tax. Any other evidence? Yes, I have. The other receipt. than her saying it out of her I own mouth. I got for, evidence for the one okay. of the hotel I'll get rooms. Your evidence. We paid for the other two in cash. We okay. extended our stay. Well, I extended the stay mm -hmm. instead of you know just that first okay. night. Okay. Now let me and see her evidence. And then I have text evidence. messages as well showing when I left. I missed my appointment. I, I got it because I, I don't I, have the I got money. The video. I, got I didn't the get the money from her. You have a video of what? When she got the money, All right, let's we, was, see it. we was playing in it. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In my bank account. In my bank account. Ready to gun me at all. Ready to gun me at Best friend. Can you stay in game, bro? <laughs> did it make it to the bank account at all? No. Any of it? Yes, sir. It did. Okay. It did it. It did it. Judgment for the plaintiff minus that emotional distress. 467 is your judgment. She admits she's going to pay you with her income tax. Judgment for the plaintiff. Have a good day. You happy? You happy? She needs to just stop trying to give out money. She knows she can't pay back. That's just period. That's it. That's all. I mean, just stop giving out money you know you don't have to, to give out. That's all. Well, it didn't say it's a loan and it's not a loan. We've been friends for too long for me to deny you anything. Like, if you need it, I'm, I'm going to give it to you, but give it back when it's time to give it back.